Hello everyone, today I have a battle with TKF. Um, I don't even want to try to say his full name. Uh, it's a really good battle, and we had a really fun time. He's a really good battler, and if you want to go check out his channel, it'll be in the description below. So, I'm going to start off with Envy Palm, of course, and he's, this time he's going to start off with Skarmy. I'm going to say it right off the bat. Take some damage from my life orb, and he's going to flinch. He gets some lefties, and I'm going to taunt him this turn because I'm thinking like stealth rock spikes, whirlwind, something like that, which makes Skarmy so annoying. So now I'm going to switch when he gets some lefties. I switch, and I go into Electivire because I'm thinking like Brave Bird or Steel Wing, which is not very effective. I get the Brave Bird, which I guess is worse because it does a lot more damage. He takes some recoil, but not that it matters much. I think he's going to switch now because he doesn't want Skarmy taking off Thunder Punch, although I still do think he can take it pretty well. So I get to Thunder Punch the Zapdos that uh, comes in. I really wish I had some Stealth Lock here. So I go ahead and do Ice Punch. I'll take him down into low yellow and he's going to roar me out into Ambipalm. Hooray! That's actually really good for me because I can, you know, fake out now. He's gonna basically have to switch. So he switches into Skarmony because Skarmony can take anything. I actually go for the Ice Punch because I don't think Fake Out would have killed. So that was a really good play on my part because it's um, normal effective. I switch to Arcanine, of course. Well, he's gonna. He's gonna switch draw him too, double switch into Gengar. So I'm, I'll actually outspeed Gengar, which is really good. Um, my Arcanine is Jolly, but apparently his Gengar is max speed. So, uh, yeah, it was, I was quite surprised too. And that level does take him out. Give him this annoying Pokemon I don't kill like until like the last few seconds. I miss a little with on it, and I get the free light screen. You know, so defensively bulky, I'm just like, that. I'm just gonna get some damage on that stupid thing before it does something stupid. I hit it with a Blurbus, he's gonna Psychic me, and that's gonna take me down into ye low yellow. And then I'm gonna do another Blurbus, just getting as much damage as I can on that Uxie, so maybe my next Pokemon can kill. But, of course, it doesn't, because, yeah, I kinda suck. <laughs> That's a really nice oxy you got there, TKF. Um, really, uh, side spot. It's a really good battle. Uh, he's still accepting challenges, so. So then my dumb butt decides to go for Calm Mind, just completely forgetting about, um, the Envy Palm Shadow Claw, so that just makes me look like such an idiot. <laughs> Uh, I go with Scizor, because Scizor can take anything from the Ambi Palm. That feels like Fire Punch, but it's okay to have a Cobra Berry. So, it was pretty good on my part. I'm going to Sword Dance up. He's going to restore some health from using his leftovers. I switch into my Electivire. And he talks it to me, so I'm just like, oh crap, stupid toxic. But I believe he switches into Speaker here, and not that I predicted that, he thought he was going to go for Ice Punch, I don't know why he thought that, because Steel kind of negates the um, Ice, so I actually do go for Thunder Punch, that's really good for me, because I get some damage on that stupid wall. His whole team is a lot of walls, so mine's more offensive, so it was a really good battle, and he's a really good player. One of the best players I think actually, and a few other people like, I don't know, Umbreon is the best, it's good. Hoaxel Platinum is also a really good player, I might want to check him out. I don't know how I get surfed. I, that crit might have mattered, although I doubt it, because I've, I was a bit Eevee in special defense, but I don't think it did, because Sweeten doesn't have that bad of special attack. But I switched into Mammal Swine, my dumb butt again thinks that um he's not gonna attack or switch or something. Well of course he surfs me down to my sash, so another really good play by him. And that uh, that's really gonna hurt.
So I'm gonna go ahead and use EQ just to kill it. Or if there's something else that I don't like. That would have really hurt if you got something like that. I would be, I would just be like smacking myself. There was this annoying Oxie again. I'm like, yes, I can kill it. Stone Edge. Oh no, crap, it missed. And that stupid Oxie gets to rest up. And now I'm gonna have to try like whatever. And now I'm basically screwed because this Oxie just walls like my entire team. So I Stone Edge did and does like nothing because Oxie's that much of a beast. I'm just like, screw this. I'm just like this. So come back to my most mine and we're gonna send up Miss Magius now. But I know this guy and he's gonna switch in that stupid ambi palm again and then I'm gonna then he's gonna shadow for me, so that's why I didn't go for calm mine. I'm just gonna set up a sub that way he can take a hit from the ambi palm. Who a few games ago one hit killed the shadow fall by an awesome prediction. So I set up a sub from Lefty and he's gonna shadow claw and break my sub. And I'm back from the sub, and I get to go for a Thunderbolt, and this is modest, modest Miss Maggie, and it doesn't kill. That's just pathetic. You know what, I'm gonna get a Gengar, get away with stupid Miss Maggie. So I send in Scizor, and he's, cause he's obviously got a Shadow Claw, he's just like, oh man, I hate Scizor at this point. <laughs> so Bullet Punch, you know why? Cause he can't really switch his self about I think that would kill him at this point. So out comes stupid that stupid Skarmony that I can't kill. A long Theoxy that I can't kill. So I'm gonna have to switch with Mamos Run. And he talks it to me, which is just hilarious because I think I live with like 9 HP, is that right? Yeah, 9 HP, so now I'm just like, oh my god, I'm gonna stone it this thing who's you know, pro. <laughs> but Sends an Oxy, which is fine by me, and takes some more stealth block, which is good, because like, I really can't hurt that thing. And Stone Edge takes it down to a boat below half. So I'm going to have to send an Ambi Paul now and go for a fake out, because in case he wakes up on the off chance he wakes up, I really need that thing to flinch before it like, rests again. So that's what I did, and he actually does wake up, so that's pretty cool. He was just like, oh crap, at this point. <laughs> And so I'm gonna have to go for a double hit, and that's a kill. I don't think I had Ice Punch at this point. Wait, I think I did, but I, I thought it was too risky. Because it took him down like 1 HP or something, probably. So he sends him to takes him with self block, and I am gonna switch, because I might want to fake out later on. So this is my I just got Brave Bird, is like right in the face. I'm just like, oh crap, crap, no, I'm gonna lose now. How did I make such a stupid play? I live with 31 hit points. Which is just amazing, and now it's down to the speed. Who is faster? Probably gets the match. I think I had one other Pokemon at this point in time, but I don't really think it matters since he has Zapdos. He switches scared. And he's like, maybe Zapdos can take this modest Thunderbolt, and I'm like, no way. But we'll see. So, Thunderbolt, and it does kill. Yeah, he was just kidding around, so of course he can't. So I get some leftovers, and here comes the star meme. It's down to the speed. Let's see who's gonna win this. Let's see. He's like, took him like a while to think of this, and I actually won this speed. So, looks like Miss Magus really did help me, and I might not actually be switching it to Gengar. But it was a really good battle with TKF, and I really enjoyed it. So, please go subscribe to him. Thanks. Bye.